Oh man, okay. So we are back in this game. I played a couple rounds of this since last night. I unlocked, who is this? The Arcane Weaver, the Paladin. I didn't like him much, the Elementalist. I liked the Elementalist and the Arcane Weaver. Now I was trying to unlock this character and it says you have to beat difficulty for Whispering Grove. So I went to fight and I went to here and I played Whispering Grove and I beat one and two and then I got to wing to part three. It spawns twice as many bosses. So I'm gonna show you guys my pain here. In, uh, in part, in difficulty three, the uh, the bosses spawn in pairs. And I had I straight up had a bad time. So this guy's starter skill, he just spams magic missiles. Hello, have some Bezos bucks. Enjoy your night. Hey, Scout Matt, thank you so much, buddy. Swift. For any of you who like what you're seeing, this game was like $7. He's addicted? I am. All right, pick another skill. Um, Thunderstrike. So the yellow crystals are basically XP. Um, lethality, more damage. And you see there's kills up here. Once that kill counter uh, fills up, the boss spawns. And it will start spawning the next boss even while the, uh, the old one's still alive. You really like these Vampire Survivor games. I've just been hooked lately. And the music on this one's been an absolute banger. Hmm. Bloodlust. For the horde. Attack speed. I don't know if I'll be able to do this, because again, this is difficulty three, which I got my butt kicked on when I tried this earlier. More damage. Poison cloud. All right, there's poison cloud. I love that it shows on their hit point bar the green from the poison or orange from burning, so you're like, you could be like, oh, that one's dead. I just got to run away. Poison Cloud damage plus 45%. Holy crap. Bloodlust 30% more often. Try to kite them through that poison. Got most of them. Chaos Golem! Aha, summon friends. Um, crit damage. The Chaos Golems are delightful. They do random crap whenever they punch. Poison, set you on fire, freeze you. They're just lovely friends. Meteors. Thirty percent more poison cloud damage. Ten percent more AOE. Oh god. Oh god. Help. Um. Twenty percent more bloodlust. Mm. 
No! Faithful strikes. Give me a passive. 36% more critical strike damage. Tougher golems. I'm actually doing a lot better than the last time. Last time I ended up with four bosses alive because I couldn't kill the first two before the next set came out. So damage, uh, damage output-wise, we're doing much better than my previous attempt. Crit strikes have a 100% chance of wounding the target. Wound effects while active, there's a 50% chance they take uh, double effects. Sure. We're doing poison, so poison is an effect, I think. Ah, oh, I took 10 damage, dang it. There's so many red circles, oh my god. Um, pass on all of that. 15% more cast time. Um, increase multicast chance of all skills of physical type by 48%. Your poison cloud and chaos golem are physical. Sure. Ow. 16% more multi -guess. The only thing I think Vampire Survivors has that, like, this game really doesn't have is, like, the ability to level up your regeneration or life stealing. Like, in this game, it's just you gotta just not get hit. I haven't seen regen or life stealing anywhere. Forty-five percent more golem damage, yes. Forty-five percent more health for golems, yes. I found some regen was well. Smite is like it calls down a beam on an enemy, and then five seconds later the beam comes down, and it heals you for five if you're standing in it. But that means you have to run over to an enemy and be there five seconds later, which I have found to be quite difficult, especially when like you're fighting, you know, fighting a boss or something. So yeah, that does exist, but I have had trouble using that. That might just be a me problem, you know, skill issue. Okay, one's dead. Increase AoE of Chaos, Bloodlust, and Chaos Golem. Sure. Third poison Cloud, 30% more damage. 100% chance to crit strike full health enemies. That'd be huge if the first hit they take is from the Lightning Bolt, because that one hits really hard. I'd like to go pick that gem up, but I gotta wait for uh, the poison, his poison to fade. Dang it, and I took 25 damage. I did, ah, I thought most of it had faded. Uh, 
Oh man, we just did the last one. Are you kidding? Don't want any of those. Magnetic. Alright, so we got two bosses out again. The Chaos Golem is helping keep its attention for a bit, which is very nice. Magnet, more XP. You know, if this is difficulty three, I'm wondering if late in the higher difficulties there's times where like five bosses spawn at once or something. <laughs> oh no, I'm in one hit range. I need HP. HP. Okay, one of them's dead. That's one less dude spamming giant AoE. Pass on that. Um, Relentless. Relentless. That's just more casting of all the abilities you've got. Oh god, I'm not done with the Fallen King yet! Okay, Fallen King just died. Is there any healing crystals on the map? I don't see any. God dang it. Are we fighting Ice and Tiak? I don't remember who Tiak. Oh, this guy. Oh no, he's got the laser. I hate him. I don't know if I have a least favorite boss, but this is definitely a contender. Oh look, there's the laser. And I'm at eight hit points. And I died. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! I got pretty far. I got a lot further than last time. Uh, you tried. I tried indeed. An effort was made. So that's Whispering Grove Tier 3. I do- Oh shoot! I did it again! I wanted to see the sta- Hold on a sec. I'm pulling up my own VOD. Can you try a class with the Holy Seal line? Uh, give me a sec. One sec. Uh, videos... Take, take me back take me back to a few minutes ago or like a few seconds ago come on twitch this isn't that difficult there okay so here's the damage uh chaos golem did three put chaos golem to 3.1 million and wait what are you doing no stop it what are you doing? Twitch! God, this is why everyone's using YouTube. Stop. There. Pause. Jesus Christ. All right. 3.1 million on Chaos Golem. 1.3 mil on Poison. Thunderstrike, almost 1 mil. Meteor, 700k. Arcane Missiles, almost 700k. So Arcane Missiles was my level one move. Uh, and then Bloodlust was buffing all the others. So Chaos Golems are carrying. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Let me tap back over to the game here. Eh. Okay, um, try something with Holy. I did one run with Paladin, and I didn't love it. 
I think that might be the only one I have that has holy. Oh, no, Elementalist has holy. Do any of these others have holy? Pyromancer has holy. Elementalist was okay. It had some cool lightning stuff. The weapons change what you have access to, by the way. Uh, I haven't unlocked any new weapon. The only person I have at level 10, which means they could get a second weapon, is the Houndmaster. But if I go to the Blacksmith, the Houndmaster, I need more iron to make that gun, apparently. Um... Also, I noticed at level 5, you unlock a new thing here, like Arcane Shield, I guess I just unlocked. Um, however, I don't know what, what levels those unlock, because it's not 10. Because this guy's 11 and doesn't have the second thing unlocked here. Okay, um, so see, that one I need to be Whispering Grove Tier 4. We just tried Whispering Grove Tier 3. This I need 100% Overlord Mode Cycle 2. What was Overlord mode? Was that just go into any map and then continue it a second time? The the red portal? Yeah. Okay, so Overlord mode 2. Complete 100 enemies. Endless mode. You don't need curses. Dungeon of Despair. Okay, so we'll... Uh, let's try that then. Uh, we'll, we'll be this guy. He has holy. Someone said try holy. And we need to do overlord. So let's do map. Which one had iron? This one. All right, we'll do the caves. And then we will try to do overlord two after beating one. Have you leveled skill tree? I have put some stuff in the skill tree, yes. Still struggling to figure out, uh, well, still struggling to unlock runes. This guy, this guy's weapon gives me Binding of Ippos, uh, vibes, Cha. Are we fighting Skrit, by the way? You can get more rune capacity from skill tree. I did. I spent the... I got rune capacity level 1 from the tree, but all the runes I've unlocked require two runes. So I need to unlock it again to get anything. Meteor would be more clear speed than Thunder. Love the music. Oh, yeah. I haven't heard a song in this game I didn't like yet. Ten percent boost to all damage. And plus the music changes whenever bosses spawn. Ten percent more damage. Oh, wow, I'm kind of surprised. You don't usually see uh, powerful strikes so many times this early. Also, I leveled up the magnet in the skill tree, which was so good. Um, lightning bolts. I've tried arcane beam. I didn't have a. I didn't really like it as much as the other spells. Um, better meteor. Arcane beam is great compared to the other beams. I'm sure every skill in this game has, like, a build where it's great in. Um, I'm just talking about, you know, ones I've tried and personally like. 
We are going all in on Meteor this one. One thing I could use more understanding of uh, in this game is like the Houndmaster, for example, he's got like the hounds, but I don't see like a tooltip for them anywhere. Like, does he just have those no matter what weapon he's using? And if so, do the other classes have some kind of free trait that they have that is hidden? Shadow bolts, powerful strikes. Relentless. Lexi is the chaos prayer. Oh no, he died too fast. I was jamming. <laughs> Uh... I'm gonna replace Flame Wave as soon as I can. Poison Cloud has been very good to me. Dashes. Thunderclap instead of Flame Wave. Oh, wait, is Thunder. Oh, that's in front of you. Oh, I'm going to replace that too. Poison can doom. Let's uh, do that to buff the poison cloud. All right. Um, let's do might instead of thundercloud. Because that'll buff the other five skills. Dead. She just doesn't know it yet. Mm. All right, lightning beam could probably be replaced at this point. That's my starter skill. I have nothing I aim anymore. <laughs> now it's all just random damage on the screen. Oh gosh, 
those spiders are fast. I'm guessing the web slows me down or something. I'm not gonna test that. One thing I noticed is the poison cloud on the tooltip, it says it applies poison every 0.5 seconds. But the tornado does not say how often it does a doom application. It's like, the Guild Wars 2 skill tooltip people made uh, the poison cloud, but the Guild Wars 2 relic people made the death vortex tooltip. <laughs> Which means to say that there's a lot missing there. the laser oh gosh that's gonna be huge level up I've been hit I've been hit again Lightning. This was a fun one when I tried it. Um, that's called lightning. It summons lightning bolts around the edges of the screen and then calls them into you. A lot of doom on that guy right now. Fifty percent more damage. For Shadow Bolt, Poison Cloud, and Might is not a damage skill. No, the DJ broke. <laughs> I'm likely wrong, last time I played was over a year ago. This game's been in early access for a year? Like, on a scale of one to Star Citizen, is 